Hello everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy Ivor and Spice back at it again with another match reaction. And remember guys, if you're new to this channel, remember to subscribe, smash that like button, remember to share because why? Sharing Ivor and Spice is caring. Boom! Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. And today guys, I'm glad to tell you that it's West Ham 1, Manchester United 2. Boom, Manchester United with another 3 points, top of the table with Liverpool. Technically, we are second, but we level on points with Liverpool. With a David De Gea saving us with those hands, saving that penalty. David De Gea doing something that he's never really done before for Manchester United, which is saving a penalty. And he damn well saved us today. Big up to David De Gea because that was a last minute penalty that, whoa, was like, jeez, like, we just scored, we're just about to win, and then, god damn it, we can see the penalty, just unfortunately by Luke Shaw. But David De Gea himself stepped up, he was like, tranquilo amigos, tranquilo, I'm here, David De Gea, I'm here. And yes, guess what he did, guys? He saved that penny. Mark Noble pissed coming all the way from the sub bench, you know, just to take a pen, just to do that last job. The one job he had to do for his team, which was to score and equalize for his team, you know, and get a point. He effed up. He didn't do it. He didn't deliver. And thank God our keeper delivered. The here with his saves. He saved us. Oh, we needed it. We got our three points. And I'm so delighted with the points. Performance wise, guys, Manchester United was bang average. Ba bang average, guys. And you guys know that. What, what the hell was we doing most of the times? Did we really threaten the goalkeeper at, at most of the times, especially Fabianski? Did we really create clear cut chances in this game? And I have to say, I'll be honest with you, no. We didn't do much, you know. I know Ronaldo had his chances, that we, Bruno Fernandes hit the post, but you have to ask yourself, guys. Throughout the whole 90 minutes, Manchester United performance wise with the ball and everything, bang average. Just just bang average. It's just your average Joe with Manchester United. This performance was average. Players wise, Bruno Fernandes, he was alright, guys. He did all right. He did give the assist to Ronaldo. Ronaldo himself got his goal. Tried to fish out for penalties, but hey, they can sniff it out of him. You know, Penando was trying to get his penalties and looking at the referee like, bruv, it's a foul! It's a foul! See! And eventually, Ronaldo got to see West Ham out the game. Again, Ronaldo showing how absolutely key he was the transfer. Four goals in three games for Cristiano Ronaldo, which is magnificent. Paul Pogba himself was okay. He did come off. But McFred, Fred himself was suspect that time. Giving the ball away with his bad first touches, as always. Him and Anwar Bissaka should definitely be related because they've got something in common. Paul, bad first touches. Definitely, guys. McTominay did okay. Varane as well did alright. Right. Greenwood was quiet, but it is Greenwood, you know. I got so much time for him, you know. Can you imagine, guys? West Ham themselves thought they were bad, super bad. Guess what? You man ain't bad just because you scored the first goal in the first half. Benarama taking a shot, deflection, or just a deflection of a Rafael Varane, which I thought was so unfair. Yeah, it was just unlucky for Varane as well, which that went in. And of course, David De Gea couldn't do anything. It was a deflection that he never saw it coming. It, he was standing that way and the deflection went off the other side on his right-hand side, which ended up going on a goal. Ronaldo himself, as always, stepping up for us. Bruno Fernandes, a delightful cross to Ronaldo for Ronaldo to try to finish it. And then Ronaldo as well, get it on the rebound and take Fabianski. You can see yourself out of here, bro. Definitely, Fabianski saw himself out of this with Ronaldo tapping it in equalizing it going into the second half 1-1 one, one. and near the die seconds Jesse Linger coming up with that winner you know Jesse Linger cutting inside as well taking that shot the top right hand corner going in and with that penalty save last minute.com the hit saved us and I'm so happy the squad was happy everyone tapping him on the back saying that Good on you, Dahir, David De Gea, you know. Sure, yeah. Like, we forgot we, we, we never forgot about Villarreal. We remember Villarreal, but today you're redeemed. Your sins are redeemed. And today, David De Gea did that, saving us, ensuring that we got the three points, leveling with level. Man of the match, guys, got to go to David De Gea for that penalty save. Without that penalty save, we'll be sitting here pissed off, saying, damn it, two points dropped. We already lost against young boys and now we draw against West Ham lastminute.com due to stupid mistakes stupid mistakes by Luke Shaw but yep 
never happened because of him we are enjoying our sunday and we can go into the next week looking forward to playing west ham again donkey of the match guys has to go to fred i thought fred gave the ball away again with his bad first touches as even though he was around the pitch energy pressing as well he's such a weakling you know he's, he's just such a weakling today but some of you probably thought he did well you guys let me know who your man in the match was and also who your donkey of the match was because it'll be interesting to hear what you guys have to say Definitely, especially your donkey of the match. Manchester United Holics, three points in the bag, sitting top joint top place, you know, second with Liverpool. Four games in, we're doing well. I've I, I been sorry, five games in, then we're doing okay so far. We're there. We've been somewhere where we've never been before. Very early in the season, we're, we're there. We are there hanging in the title race. So it shows good signs. It, it kind of you kind of feel like, hmm, maybe we can win the title. But guys, you know how it is. We take it game by game. You guys let me know what you thought of today's match was as well. And also, as always, remember to follow the official Instagram account of Ready Night TV, which is Ready Night TV 1, baby. And also the official TikTok account, which is Ready Night TV. And also my personal Instagram account, which is Ivorian underscore Spice. Same as the Twitter and also the Snapchat. And last but not least, remember to subscribe, smash that like button, and also remember to share. As always, guys, remember to keep it united and remember to keep it ready night. I'm out. Peace out. Boom.